Hello everybody and welcome to a Lethal Company video. That's right, a little something different. Um, I've posted a Lethal Company clip on the channel before. It almost got like 1k views, so I thought, why not? A lot of people have played this no matter what game you're a part of, and I have made it clear that I am going to be doing other things that are not Honkai Star Rail, although my channel is 99.9% .9 Honkai Star Rail, I will always keep the option for me to expand my horizons open. Um, but anyway, this is going to be a fun tier list. Uh, I have been away for about four days. I haven't had the ability to make any videos. The reason why I've been making a lot of shorts, actually, from content in past videos and, like, clips of past videos is because I, I just learned about the YouTube, like, on the, the remix filter, which you can go to any YouTube video and remix it and basically make clips of those videos and... You can take it from anywhere. You can do a, you know, a very limited amount of editing, but still, I think it's actually a really good tool. And because I just learned about that um, about two days ago or three days ago, whenever that was, I will be doing a lot more of that kind of content. Also, right after recording this, I'm going to go downstairs into the home gym and do my next uh, day, my, my second to last day of seven days of 100. So that continues now. I've still been getting my workouts. The problem is or I've still been staying active and, you know, doing somewhat of a workout whenever I can. But the thing is, I haven't even been at my house. Um, so, yeah. And then also I worked a few days in a row, so that was fun. So I got my workouts those nights and then I just didn't get to record. Them. But let's get right into the video. OK, let's get into this. Um, let's start with the loot bug. Now, the loot bug is an obvious S tier, the Yippee machine. Um, we absolutely love the loot bug. Who doesn't love the loot bug? One of the most fun, cute little bugs in any game in gaming history. We love the loot bug. The loot bug is awesome. We love the loot bug. Loot bug is love. Loot bug is life. Um, I mean, yeah, they just steal your stuff. They take you to places. They take all your stuff to places, and they gather up objects for you for free. So if you do want to take them out, then you get like a bunch of free stuff if they manage to like walk around and get it. Uh, so yeah. Loot bugs are also a dub, you know, if you're really trying. Why is this messed up like this? This is the actual, okay, there we go. Anyway, um, spiders. As for spiders, I think that they're actually C tier. I don't like them, if I'm being honest. I really don't. I don't think they're that cool. I think they're one of the least um, cool. They might even be like the least, okay, not the least. You still have like manta coils, which are like, D, right? This is supposed to be the Manta Coils. They just fly around. They don't do anything at all. Um, but, but, like, I don't get it. Are those bees? Those can't be bees. They're way too small. I guess so, because there's lightning arcing off of them. Okay, bees. I still think bees are D tier. I don't really think that the bees are just, like, not cool. I mean, they're just bees, okay? They're, they're, they're nothing special. And compared to a lot of the, the enemies in this game, they are not, you know, they're just very uninspiring. And that's okay. That's okay because I am ranking them based off of, you know, all of the enemies, you know, together. So obviously if certain ones have a really cool theme and the other ones are like kind of whatever, then yeah, I mean, they're kind of whatever compared to the other ones. Same with the spiders, just a little less so. Uh, they crawl around. I kind of like the way that they sound. They're pitter-patters. I like that. Um, and the webs kind of freak people out whenever you're playing with them. Uh, if certain people, um, people don't like, you know, risking going through the webs. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, definitely a C tier enemy right there. Now the, the guy, uh, the flower man, the Bracken, the Bracken is awesome. I love the Bracken. I think he's actually higher tier than the loot bug. It would be funny to put the loot bug as the number one unit in the game. Uh, like I do with, the uh, warp trotter and Honkai Star Rail, but I think I'm gonna put the 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 Flower Man above him. I, I just think the Bracken is so cool. I think he's so cool. Um, I mean, and it's so self-explanatory. He like hunts you whenever he kills your friend. He like drags him away. There are so many. He creates way more funny clips, in my opinion, than the Loot Bug. The Loot Bug does create funny clips. Um. No, actually, the loot bug creates more funny clips, especially when there's mods involved. But 
the Bracken just always creates true horror game clips. Um, and that is why he is one of my favorite mobs in the game. Um, I really want this game to get an update, by the way. I, I think that this game is so awesome. I love it. This bug right here, uh, I just, I'm just, I'm just not a fan at all. Um, honestly, I mean, step up from bees for sure, but I'm really not a fan of it. It just kind of sits up top and then it drops down, squirms around. It's like, it's just so whatever. And I think it's more annoying than anything. I think like the first time you ever encounter it, when it jumps on your head or it jumps on your friend's head and you hear their muffled screams and, or jumps on your head and you're like, what is going on? When, when it jumps on your head for the first time, you're mostly just confused, but it is so funny to watch or to like watch someone else scream at the top of their lungs with it engulfing their face and, and muffling their voice. I think it's really fun in that way. Uh, but other than that, I mean, just a detail. It's it's mostly, in my opinion, it's one of the ones that are just annoying, more annoying than anything. It's just annoying for me personally to encounter. Um, but yeah, when my friends encounter it, I guess it's it's kind of funny. Um, spring, the spring heads, the coil heads. I think the coil heads are really cool. I think they are awesome. Um, I'm gonna put them in A tier for now. Uh, we're probably gonna we might actually move them down. Um, because there are some really, really good units. Um, yeah, I think I am. I think I am. I think Coilhead goes here. Uh, I might move him back up, but Coilhead is just so cool. Uh, definitely one of the most deadly. And you know when the Coilhead shows up, it just got real. This is one of those mobs where it's like, I can be hunted by a Bracken for a long time, and as long as I'm keeping my head on a swivel, I'm not actually too worried or too stressed. Uh, if I am in a doggy doo doo situation and a a coil head is you know right on top of me, um, I am the the stress is real, you know the the stress factor goes up a ton. The spore dudes, spore dudes, I'm actually going to have. I mean, they look kind of funny. I'm gonna have to put them in tier i think that even below these dudes i think these dudes create more funny moments whenever they're like muffling your homie's voice or the spiders create more funny moments whenever they like hang your friend from the ceiling wrapped in web and you can't even take his body back um then the sport the sports just kind of waddle around they make a little sound and they run away if you chase them or hit them or whatever they'll they'll unleash some gas but you can just completely ignore them and they are completely inconsequential to the entire game. Um, it, it's almost never a thought in my mind whenever we see one of those. It's like, oh, there's one of those. And then I will actually unironically forget it like five seconds later. So I'm going to put it there. Uh, yeah, that, that's where I'm going to put it. The goo. The goo. I like playing around the goo more than some of these other ones. Uh, I, I know it is kind of boring. It just, you know, it's just kind of like whatever just kind of blob just blobs around being a blob you know how it is but it does block off a path and sometimes that can create some very stressful situations especially as it's blocking a path that maybe you need to go down to and while it's doing that not only is it blocking a path you need to go down to but it, it is creating you know it, it's slowly inching towards you it is creating a bit of a stressful situation it is heightening the the situation uh the issues that you're about to deal with now these dudes okay this might be a horrible take to some people these dudes i have never once and i've played quite a bit of lethal company um i can pull it up i guess uh, i have played a decent amount of lethal company and i have never once never once been killed by these things the things that flop around and and run around outside um, I just don't think like they, they just don't do anything. They have never once done anything to me and it's crazy. I don't, I honestly don't know what they do. Okay. I've played 71 hours of lethal company. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I I've played quite a bit. I played modded. I played unmodded. Uh, they've just done nothing to me. They just walk around. Do they even do anything? I, I've heard my friends say that they can kill people. I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. I haven't seen a friend of mine killed. 
a friend of mine has not told me they've been killed by one, and I have not been killed by one. I'm I'm very confused as to what these mobs even do. Anyway, let's go to this. Uh the 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 Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Now, you can definitely tell as I move the loot bug further and further down. I definitely vibe with the more horror and like scary monster elements. These are the kind of things that like whenever you see them, right? And I just have to put the loot bug in S tier because it is an S tier monster. But the thing is, um, or creature, but I, I just think like when you see a Bracken, you're like, that's one of the coolest designed AIs like and, and enemy I've I've seen in a game. Like the stalker aspect, the the run up behind you and break your neck if your head's not on a swivel. Like you, you look into the distance and you see glowing white eyes and the pitch black. That is so awesome. When you see Jack in the Box, you know you are so undoubtedly, unbelievably screwed. It's not even funny. I absolutely love the Jack in the Boxes. They are so, so so awesome i love the jack in the boxes uh you, you see them and the tense the the tenseness of your lethal company match just raised 9 million percent the the stress inducingness of the the jack in the box is second to none you see it and you know that your game is over if you do not get out of it. I love that mob. That mob is awesome. Um, actually, I am gonna move Coil Head up. I cannot, in right mind, put him on the same level as Goo. Um, there are some really high tier units here. Uh, next, so I'm gonna kind of like, you know, change up the order of them. Uh, let's talk about the Worm next. The Worm, I honestly, I don't like. It's just so boring to me. Y you hear the, the rumbling and. To be honest, this it is only scary or like it only induces a lot of stress when it's paired with the dogs being nearby. If not, it's just like, oh, I hear the loud roar. I guess I should run. If I don't, I die instantly and it doesn't really it doesn't really feel cool. It's just kind of a worm. You know, but I think it is above the these other three, but I'm still going to put it in D tier. I'm being very harsh to some of these, but as you can see, this this list is going to be very bot heavy and then very top heavy. So let's go to Nutcracker next. I love the Nutcracker. I don't know why. I think just because it's like just because it's like Christmas themed and it basically added the shotgun uh, because people were making mods out of shotguns. Now there's an actual shotgun in the game. And once you get it, you can get ammo for it. And if you kill the Nutcracker, and they're very, very dangerous still. And whenever you hear them, they sound so cool. The marching is just so awesome. I love almost everything about the design of the Nutcracker. It's not as scary or stress inducing because I feel like it's very easily avoidable. You, it's very loud. If you hear it in an area, you know, I ain't going there. If, if it's marching around, you're like, I ain't going there. Uh, you don't have to interact with it. It's it's one of those where you basically don't have to interact with it if you want if you don't want to. Uh, these other ones, Coilhead, uh, Bracken, uh, Jack in the Box, they will find you. They will find you, and they will make themselves a problem, right? But this guy, he just kind of marches around somewhere. So I think that does move him down a tier. But if that wasn't the case. I, I kind of like that he just marches around endlessly. And like if you if you cross his path, that is whenever he will become a problem for you. I like that. I like that. I just like how cool he is. But he's not an S tier unit for me. Let's go to the Scarlet Screamers. I actually don't remember what these are called. Um I haven't played the game in a bit. Uh the the crawlers. We're just gonna call them the crawlers. They're creepy crawlers. They're definitely above the goo, but this is where they lay for me. Uh, they're kind of, they're kind of, I mean, they're pretty dangerous. They are, um, unless you've played a lot of, you know, this game or you looked up a video on like how to beat them really easily or, you know, whatever. 
to me, it's like, I don't really know like the super crazy strategy to beat them. So they are definitely dangerous, at least to me and my friend group personally, but they do, they are beatable. And I think that they're really cool. I wish every unit in the game was killable because that would have some crazy interactions with certain mods or mods. Like I, I wish like maybe just a certain thing, like the coil heads can only die if you headshot them with the shotgun. That would be cool. That would be cool. Um, yeah, the crawlers. I don't know. They're they're definitely nowhere near a tier level, but they're definitely not on the spider and like ceiling bug level. I think they're just here with the goo. Dogs, I think, are the best B tier unit for sure. Uh, I think the dogs are just really cool. They don't have an insane amount of good theming. Uh, the uh, but the fact that like the, the gameplay that is played around them. The fact that you have to be quiet, um, that is, I really, really like that. That created a lot of fun in like the first 20 hours of playing the game. Uh, once you and your friend group kind of know how to beat the dogs, unless someone is straight up trolling or actually kind of dumb, uh, you don't really have an issue with them ever again. Uh, they're one of those mobs that it's, it's kind of like the, uh, the nutcracker in a way where it's only going to be a problem if you allow it to be a problem. If not, they walk around aimlessly, they don't do anything. But yeah, if you make a sound, you're going to get eaten. So shut up. So yeah. Uh you can just you can just be quiet and that and then they won't attack you. So yeah. I, I would say dogs were a big problem for me in the early stages, like I said, like the first 20 hours maybe. After that, I mean, they were they're just so easy to counter. They're just so I mean, you really don't have to interact with them if you don't want to. The Giants. I feel like the Giants are uh, definitely probably my take for most annoying mob in the entire game. But the fact that they're annoying doesn't make them like below the manticore or anything like that. I do hate them, but I would say probably like there between the spider and the, and the ceiling bug. I really don't like the forest giants. I, I I don't know, guys. There's something about them. Like, they will just camp the the ship if a bunch of people are on the ship, and then whenever it sees someone, it runs like three times the player speed and doesn't run out of stamina, and it will just always get you unless you can like find some kind of cover, which yeah is supposed to be the the counter for them, but I swear they just have they just have one of like the lowest amounts of counterplay to a unit, right? Like this is counterplay like the counterplay to it has just about as much counterplay to me as like the coil head or the jack in the box guy do where it's like there's really nothing at all you can do about them. Like the coil head, there's really nothing you can do about that. You just look at them. You either look at them or you die. And you can buy yourself some time if you put them behind a door, but there's a chance they'll just walk right through the door. I mean, there's a chance that they don't, and you know you can solve the problem that way. But yeah, uh, and then the jack in the box, like you see it, and you must leave the building. You you leave the building or you are done. It's a very one dimensional. But the thing is, I just really love the whole theme, the whole look, the whole idea. Of of the units like these, uh, the coil head and the um, jack in the box. I love how much intensity and stress that they add to a match, and they are really really cool. This guy, he's just big. He stomps around. He stomps around outside. He's annoying as hell. He's way faster than you. He'll pick you up from a big range. There's almost no avoiding him. Um, they're just annoying in my opinion. Just they're just annoying. Uh and if you and if they're camping the ship, the moment you walk out, you're just dead. Okay. Like, you know, I've had so many matches where they're just camping the ship. Uh like standing right in front of the door, they do not move. So it's just really annoying to me. I don't like that mob at all. Um let's go with the mask. Now the mask. Uh 
honestly, I'm going to put it here. I think it was really cool for a bit. And I just love the fact that it's in the game. I do love the fact that it's in the game. It is really cool. Um, definitely a top seven mob for me in the game. Hint, hint, uh, to where this is going. Definitely a top seven in the game for me. But once you learn to just not put the mask up to your face, you're good. And to me, whenever it first came out and people were like holding the mask to their face, and they're like, and then their friends are like, what are you doing? Wh what are you doing? What? What's wrong with this guy? And it's like, okay, well, I mean, you can see that his character is holding the mask. To the face. Like, to me, I don't know. It was like intuitive that that wasn't a threat. Like, it's obvious that you're like putting the mask on. Right. But when the mask is like. And, and then what the clips where the people are just standing there watching their friend get red glowy eyes and like blood gorges from their body. And then they just stand there like, what's happening? I'm like, there's no way these are real people. There's no way these are real people. Um, yeah, I, I, I do think it created a lot of fun. It definitely adds opportunities to troll your friends. You can troll your friends pretty hard. Um, and I thought it was really cool. But these are completely avoidable. But I do like the fact that once it happens once, the zombie apocalypse basically starts. That is so cool, right? The fact that this is completely avoidable and it's just an item that you could just pick up for scrap and then do that. Like, the thing that would make this crazy is that if you could pick up the frown ones, but instead of, like, you have to, like, hold it up to your face and then it gets stuck and then you can't take it off and then it takes over your body. What if if you had it as the selected item in your inventory? Like, instead of, like, holding your flashlight or holding a different piece of scrap, you were holding that specific piece of scrap, like, you were just holding the frowny face, it could just pull itself up to your face. That would have been really cool. That would have definitely added extra danger. And then there's always a very small chance that even if you just pick it up real quick and then switch inventory slots, if you just pick it up real quick, it can just do it. And I don't understand why that would ever be a problem in the game when mobs like this exist where you see it and the round is over like the game is legit over when that mob is is like enters the game like you are just you go outside it's done but i think that that's okay to have another game ender like that um where it has a chance to just proc end the game basically um or be a big problem but i absolutely do love these mobs the fact that, you know, like I said, the zombie apocalypse starts once the first person is infected, once the first person is taken over, is so cool that it nullifies all the downsides, I said. I wish there were, you know, the down, some of the downsides were changed to be just always upsides, or like more upsides, or more threat to the thing, if you don't just put it up to your face by choice, but yeah. So I guess if... If you're playing with brand new people and they put it up to their face like, oh, I'm wearing a mask. This is so fun. Um, yeah, then I guess it can be really fun. But other than that, unless you want to troll your friends on purpose. Um, yeah. But it is an A tier. Uh, the ghost girl. I actually love the ghost girl for the same reason that I love. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been talking so much good about Coilhead that it, it literally has to be an S-tier unit. And who would know all the S-tier units are probably the four hardest units to play against in the game. Like, actually by a long shot. Like, without being mega annoying, they're actually just really cool, really dangerous units. I... I love the fact that this game can get super challenging and the craziest moments in my gaming and like in my entire gaming career, my entire gaming lifetime has been around, um, you know, matches that I was playing with my friends where basically we're dealing with all four of these at the same time. Like we got like two coil heads on us. Like our group is in there. We're in the dungeon. We're playing the game. We're looking for scrap. There's like one coil head. It's like, oh God, second coil head. Oh my God, 
Meanwhile, a Bracken's been following us for a while, and there's like two coil heads looking at us, and we're all panicking. And then one of these walks up, and someone sees the ghost girl. There have been matches like that, like on like the harder planets that me and my friends have played. They are some of the most fun matches in all of gaming that I've ever played. They're the, that is like some of the best memories I will ever have in gaming. It is so fun. It is so cool. It is so awesome. I love it. Um, Ghost Girl, not definitely not as cool. She's very one dimensional. She's like, okay, I see you. I haunt you. If I haunt you for long enough, I will kill you. That whole theme, okay, that's fine. Um, she is a round ender, just like, just like uh, Jack in the Box. But I think it's still really cool. I like that only one person can see her. I like that in like your first ten hours of playing the game, and you're playing with your friends all the time. I mean, maybe even more than 10 hours. You don't encounter her that often. It's like your first 20 hours of playing the game and you're playing with your group of friends and like the first time someone ever encounters her, they just kind of assume that everybody sees her or they say, hey, y'all seeing this? And then everyone's like, no, I think it's really cool. And then she, you like run up to her. She just stands there and looks at you. If you run up to her, she'll just skip away. Or if you run far enough, she'll just like, you, know, you turn a corner and then like you look back and then she's gone again. I really like how her specifically, along with the Bracken, are probably two of my favorite um, AIs, like um, like behaviors of any enemies in the game. I would say third, like I said, I really like the the marching around. You don't really have to interact with him if you want to, but he will march around and maybe he will find you. Um, I like that. I would say those are definitely my top three AIs of the game. But yeah, I mean, I I really like Lethal Company. I like the mobs in Lethal Company. They're awesome. They're fun. It is one of the best indie games, in my opinion, of... I say all time? I mean, like, of recent time. Of recent time, for sure. Of the 2020s. I would put it in my, I'd put it probably in my top three, let's be honest. Top three, definitely top five, if not top three. But I love this game. This game is awesome. This game is super fun. I can't believe a a guy who's a furry who made Roblox games made this game because this is insane. Also, we got a nice, like, okay, I'm going to butcher this, but like, we got like a nice haiku. We got like a nice poem. Four three three four, wait four three 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 four. I don't know how it ended up like that, but this is just how I genuinely believe the let the, the tier list should look. Uh, tell me if you disagree or you agree in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Uh, if you tuned into this video and you previously watched all my Honkai Star Rail or not all, but some of my Honkai Star Rail content, thank you. I really appreciate that. Subscribe it. It really does mean the world for me. I'm I'm trying to make it here and I'm putting in the work and you know, I will see you in the next video. Uh I whether you subscribe or not, I hope you I hope you come back for another video. So peace.